Hello everyone and welcome back to Jurassic Park Builder! And we are here on our little corner of Jurassic Park Island with our amazing dinosaurs! We're all snoozing because it is time to collect the donations that people have left. I imagine people just like are forced to get out of their jeeps now and walk through the woods. And some of you guys have like said, but Siri, how will you be able to like sit in the jeeps and relax and enjoy the tour of the, the dinosaur park if you don't put down roads? Well, the roads just take away too much from being able to put really cool items next to our dinos and get huge boosts in their experience like all of Nissa's flowers Nissa couldn't have her flowers and she loves her flowers if like we had to put roads there so we're just gonna have to roll with that but I imagine people like come here and they have to get out and just like walk or maybe they have like even a little little four-wheelers that help them get around or those gyro spears from the Jurassic World movie and by the way guys just to remind you I cannot play Jurassic World yet because I don't have something to record it on. It's such a new game that it is incompatible with blue stacks, which is what I used to record. And I only have a little broken Galaxy uh, Galaxy phone, a very old, old model of a Galaxy phone that isn't even hooked up to the internet. So that's not capable of recording Jurassic World, but that's okay because I'm happy to be here with you, Tracy. Good morning, Tracy. And check this out, guys. So we are so freaking close to finally being able to afford that volcano again. I think we're still about 300,000 odd coins away from being able to get the active volcano, but then we can get that sucker out of the way and start putting down some more items all over. There's the sleeping volcano. I want Mr. Active Volcano. <gasps> We're actually almost right there. He was cheaper than I thought. Let's do this. Oh my gosh, yes. So we have Mount Mara. And you know what? I think we should name the other mountain after another one of our friends. So Mount Mara and how about Mount Ben or Mount Alex. And we'll just go from there. All right, let's see. And Albert is almost fully evolved. Let's see, can I feed you twice? I can feed you once, Professor Albert. He's doing very well. We've been actually focusing more on the aquatic world off screen because, oh my gosh, I am so in love with doing aquatic battles. I am so completely in love with trying to get the aquatic uh, creatures just leveled up and looking nice. And the aquatic buildings are so nice. So we're definitely going to be looking into that more. All right, let's take care of all these pebbles. Thank you for your huge donation. Oh my gosh, and look at that, you guys. We have enough money now. <gasps> Where are we gonna put it? Okay, so the, the active volcano is a 25% bonus and I kind of want to keep the volcanic chain going. So I wonder, the crater, the crater is still a 30% bonus, so it wouldn't do us any good to really put the volcano somewhere else. I kind of wanted to see if we can put it by pebbles and see what that would do. So maybe I'll move our little Aranosaurus. How much, the Aranosaurus has about a 49% boost when it's right here. I wonder if I move the little baby. Man, we're gonna have to make some room. If we're getting more volcanoes involved in this nonsense, we're gonna really need to make some room. I wonder if I move... No, 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 not the Meteor Crater. Meteor Crater, you stay right there. Uh, Aranosaurus, what if you come hang out on this side and we get the Safari Lounge out of the way? That makes sense to me. Hey, 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 no, you guys, Safari Lounge, you come over here. There we go. And we don't really need the Aranosaurus. Can you have the Dancing Fountain right there? I don't know. Ooh, pretty flowers. There we go. Stick some pretty flowers right next to... Right next to the whole kebab. All right, come here, little guy. Can you fit right here? <gasps> you can, so we can leave the dancing fountain in. Cool. All right, now I wonder though, would it be more effective to move you actually and put the volcano there if it'll fit? I think that might actually be more effective or maybe move these guys out of the way. Okay, now we're thinking, now we're thinking. So you have to have a nice flexible mind. Oh, here's more flowers. Nissa, I brought you more flowers. I'm probably going to get rid of all of them in the future because they just don't look nice compared to all the other plants. <laughs> they just really don't. I'm sorry, Nissa. It's the cruel facts of life. And maybe, maybe it's not so much that she likes the look of the flowers, but she likes to graze on them and eat them. So we'll leave them over there until she um, eats them down and we sell their remains and put down some prettier plants. <laughs> 
All right, let's see. We need to get more safari lodges. Our little safari lodge empire, which is really the way to go if you're trying to earn the monies in this game. Yeah, I think this will work. And then we can keep it near everybody down here and we'll have four dinos that it can that it can access instead of just uh instead of just like pebbles and these two but i wonder now it's a matter of who could bring us in the most coinage okay so the iguanodon has already far outstripped this little guy so we're gonna swap you two around okay you're gonna come up here my little one and the iguanodon well i wonder if we move it down here the thing is mr iguanodon then, no, then you don't have enough. Then you don't have enough pizzazz. You don't have enough excitement. All right, the Aronosaurus, now it's getting a 41% bonus. And if I moved it down here, it's making about 12,000. If I moved it down here, ouch, that bonus was making it a lot of extra moolah. So let's just leave it down here though and see what we can do. All right, you guys, it's volcano time. Active volcano, active volcano. All right, Pebbles, 125%. Boom! Look at you go, Pebbles. Look at you go. Okay, and then let's go ahead and put this right here. Boom! All right, and this is gonna complete a mission finally. We brought ourselves a little time to breathe. The guests have lots to see and do. Cause you put an active volcano down, sir. Who does that? Oh, I well, ironically, I was thinking about building an active volcano in our zoo crafting series. So maybe I shouldn't judge. Maybe I shouldn't judge. Ooh, new quest. I'm about to evolve the next batch of dinosaurs, Ian. Wanna watch? I think I should. I don't like surprises, which is surprising because chaos is all about surprise. Chaos theory, eh? Gain two stars in herbivores, gain two stars in carnivores, place three royal red flowers. Let's evolve more dinosaurs with as few surprises as possible. All right, we'll work on that. Henry, what's with all the construction? Shouldn't you focus on research? We need to upgrade our equipment to keep up with the new dinosaur star system. I don't like the sound of that. Jurassic Park is a delicate ecosystem. Change and chaos are not our friends. That's entirely what an ecosystem is, my friend. Entirely what an ecosystem is. Place a sleeping volcano. Place two security towers and place two fountains. Well, dang it, you guys. I'm going to get my volcanic chain grown whether I want it or not. So now how much is she making? Now she's still only making about 10,000. So if I move her back up here next to the sleeping and active volcanoes, 12 isn't bad. So I guess actually, so six, six up there, 6,300 up there, and up here, 5,400. So it's still not as good. This area just cannot improve and impress our little dinos quite as much as this area can. So I guess we'll just put you back up here then, my little friend. There you go. There you go. There's a happy little dino. And now Pebbles is bringing in 6,000 more coins every two hours. <laughs> oh my gosh. We might have to move Pebbles might be the thing. Move her over and then get the volcanic chain like tearing up this way. So we'll play with it. But now we have even more volcanoes. Our park contains more volcanic action than ever before. And I think it's a, a kind of a good thing for here. All right, so what should we work on? We have actually got the Gallimimus fully evolved, so that's fantastic. And I've been trying to work a little bit on, um, ah, the Edmontosaurus is almost fully evolved. So let's feed it up a little bit more. There we go, good job, little one. And now I can finally spend some money on getting them food again. <laughs> All right, so let's go off to the glacial area. And then we're gonna jump into the aquatic zone and see what our awesome aquatic animals have been up to because I love aquatic zone, it is so nice. And there are a lot of awesome tournaments available at the moment for winning DNA. So we're gonna work on that real quick. All right, let's clear this out of the way. See, look at it, look at it, the little uh, buckalites. I want one, I want one so bad. So we are going to be doing all the DNA rescues we possibly can to try to earn enough to earn this little guy. And the Mosasaurus is currently available in the aquatic zone. So I'm gonna be dropping some bucks into trying to get the Mosasaurus. It's available for the next couple days. So I'm really gonna throw myself into that and hopefully we'll be able to get it because you guys have said that the Mosasaurus is one of the strongest golds you can get in the aquatic zone. So I'm gonna do my best there. Hello, little glacial zone. 
so sorry that we haven't had more time and money to devote to you. Money is now tight again because of volcanic action. And it, like, it gave me 2,000 coins here for these guys, but there's nothing you can buy in the glacial zone for 2,000 coins. That's ridiculous. There's nothing. You can get fir trees, rock paintings, torches, leafless trees. See, it's still, like, everything is a bazillion and a half dollars here. The rivers, the stone statues, the gardens. I love the small garden tree. I would love having tons of those around. The bridge we have unlocked, so it's over a million coins, and the fountain we have unlocked. So, there's a lot of stuff coming in, just like, ow, ow, on the wallet. I mean, I guess we're kind of running like a multi-million dollar business here, but still, that's a lot of money just for a fountain. I could have my little junior interns run back and forth with like, some pipes and, and water and probably figure out how to get it cheaper. <gasps> Mosasaurus, I want to try to get the Mosasaurus. So there's three days left on trying to find the DNA sample for the Mosasaurus, and... Are we going to be really lucky this time? Because that would be amazing. Dang it. No. But we are going to invest the full five bucks into trying to find it. And as the days get closer and closer to it uh, potentially not being there anymore, we will invest quite a bit of buckaroos into trying to find it through, uh, like, speed it up, speed it up missions. But for now, it's time to take care of my precious aquatic babies. And they're so good. All right, look, 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 look. We have this new guy. Look at him. The Shonisaurus, or however you would pronounce that. He is brand new. Humongous. I've never seen or imagined that there used to be something that basically looked similar to a giant, very fat dolphin whale. And I love him. I love him. He is awesome. I love that all of these guys, to some extent, are based in uh, real prehistoric animals with extreme exaggerations, but still. All right, let's gather you guys up. Look at our botanical garden. Isn't that just the most awesome thing ever? We need to put down more underwater condos. There's the vet office. And I know you guys like were like, oh, but Siri, it's probably a vet office for these guys, but look at the size of it. Could anyone be on the Ammonite and our little dermas? And maybe, maybe these guys fit in there. Basil couldn't fit in there. This guy definitely couldn't fit in there. I don't even think this guy could fit in there. So I think it's more fun to think of this vet office as being a place where people bring their poodles to have their nails trimmed for extremely high cost. So, you know, it's like a, um, a vanity item. Bring your little pet down, little Fido down, so you can come down. Now, they must be really angry if they're like vanity item people to eat at the Megalon Dawn Diner. I probably need to get a fancier restaurant put in, and I want to build up our little Atlantis city, so we'll work on that too. In fact, let me get some of this cleared out of the way. And let's try moving the underwater condo over here, and then maybe down like here-ish will be where we put some of the official buildings. But the botanical garden would be a nice, beautiful thing. Under Undersea, underwater garden. So there we go. We'll take care of that. But yes, yeah, so what we are going to focus on is trying to get uh, the little bacolites at the tournaments. So I'm going to be throwing myself into the aquatic, especially tournaments, because with Tri and Basil and our little derma set, we tear through those tournaments like nobody's business. So let's feed up our dermas. Yes. Can I get him one more level? Yes, all right, sweet. So now we have level 36 dermas. Basil is up to level 30. He's ready to evolve, but it's gonna be a little bit before I evolve him, because we want to fight right now. And let's go and jump into a quick aquatic tournament, because I do really good normally. Sometimes I don't do so good, but I do really good in the aquatic tournaments on a normal basis. In fact, I was all-star, but I don't know what happened. It like rolled back somehow, and I lost a bunch of bucks and fangs, and it was a little bit annoying, to be honest. All right, let's see if we can earn these bacolites. I really want to get them. Yep, everybody's ready to fight. This gold level. I was at all-star level. So, like I said, I don't know what happened. It's kind of frustrating. I emailed them about it, so we'll see what they say. Because I don't want to lose progress. No progress lost. But we're going to jump in and see what we can handle. Are we going first? Okay, we're going second. I really want to win this, so we'll do our best. All right, so if we're going second, I'm going to send out this guy, this guy, and then Derma. And then we'll recycle Derma for the second battle. 
All right, Megalodon. I would love to have a Megalodon. It would be so fun. And there's the Mosasaurus. So the Mosasaurus, I guess these guys are all gold level guys that this person has been lucky enough to obtain. Lucky, lucky duck. Lucky, lucky seafaring duck. All right, let's jump into it, you guys. Oh, look at the beautiful Megalodon. Oh, it's so awesome. All right, go ahead, take him out. I know he's my bait. Sorry, little guy, you're kind of bait. Oh, you can, you can actually withstand some of this, not so bad. Good job, little one. Wow, you did a lot of damage to that Megalodon. You're not so bad. Maybe I don't have to start bringing Derma in and recharging him with bucks. Yes, this is actually what I want. When I don't get to go first, I like to send out a bait item in the hopes that somebody will get overexcited and go, oh, this will be an easy kill and use up their their little um, special attacks before we get to the guys I want to protect, like Derma or Basil on a good day. All right, good. I knew that was going to happen. And then I'm going to go ahead and just take you out if you don't block. I hope they don't block it. This would suck to lose a special, but it happens sometimes. It happens sometimes like that. Are we gonna block? I'll block, just in case. Yay! Oh, I love the animations for the underwater battles. Look at those teeth. It makes me very much glad that I'm not part of the prehistoric sea. I don't think I would have lasted long. Yes, use up thy blocks. Come along. I, I think, is Bite strongest against this guy or is it Charge? I think it might be Charge. Dang it, Charge did nothing. That was, that was pathetic. All right, do I wanna try another special? I'm gonna try another special, see if I can get one through this time. I still forget what, because what armor fish is weaker against. There we go. There, that's better. And here's the Mosasaurus. I think he's gonna do a special on me? I'm not sure. He's probably trying to figure out what Basil's weakness is, which is probably Bite. There, there, Basil. I love Basil's look and Basil's animation. It's just gorgeous. Now, I think this little flappy guy, I think his weakness, I can't remember if it's Bite or Smack, so let's use Basil, Basil to figure that out. Well, yay, woohoo! He's kind of totally exposed and ready to go down. Dang, Basil, you're so good. Look at you go. Basil's gonna be fully, fully start out pretty soon. All right, so this guy's, oh wow, we didn't even need to use Derma. Sweet! I guess we're at that stage, at least with gold fights. Nice! Good job. Are we going first this time? Yes! A strong offense. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and recharge these two, which I know seems kind of weird, but I'm in it for the DNA more so than the bucks at this point. And I try never to spend more bucks than what we would need for recharging Basil and Derma to fight again. Look at all these guys. I love these battles. Look at this guy. I love him. He's Mr. Giant Catfish. Giant Catfish guy. Geosaurus. Oh, that's not the man! I would love to have that guy too. I want, like, more than the Jurassic collection. I want the aquatic collection so bad. Hello, Mr. Lettavan. How are you? Doing well, I hope. Greetings. Strong offense. Go, Basil, go! Goodbye, sir. All right. And there's Mr. Giant Catfish. Oops. Ah, oh, man, I didn't click block in time, but it should be okay. Basil's pretty strong. And Derma's very strong. Derma's uh, always hanging out there and back up. Oh, yeah, we should be fine. Jeez, Basil. I know I leveled you up a bit since then, but man. Holy days, Basil! Why did I even bother, like, recharging Derma and wasting bits and pieces? This is awesome! I would love to have a strong all-star uh, aquatic team. It's so fun in the tournaments when you know that there's a good chance with strategy and strong creatures you could win. All right, little Geosaurus. Look at you! I think this guy is weak against being smacked in the face with a tail. <laughs> Dang! Okay, now I bet it's gonna be a series of blocks. 
I would, because look, it's the poor little guy is the last one left. This will be over quick, my friend. Oh! Oh, I did nothing! It must be very intimidating to look at this lineup. Especially, I don't even have tryout yet. There we go. There we go, and now he's fully exposed. I wonder if Derma isn't even going to come out to fight. That would be really surreal. Alright, oh, let's do this, let's do this. There we go. Dun 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 dun, smack. Not bad. Not bad, little one. Man, I can't even imagine. I wonder though, I've, and I've thought about this, so what do you guys think about this theory? The level of creatures that you bring to the fight, does that determine how hard your opponents are? Does it measure it, like, kind of in that paced manner or not? Because I, I've seen some people go fight, and they have, like, fully leveled up aquatic animals, and they only run into other fully leveled up aquatic animals. And I noticed it seemed like that with our Jurassic, but the Jurassic always seemed weighted, so it was a little harder, and the aquatic always feels a little bit easier. We go first! Woohoo! Oh, we're going up against the little German Shepherd! Oh, it's so cute! Alright, so let's send out you and you, and... Not you. You. There we go. Alright, try. We've got all the colors. Now this little Leeds guy, Lydzia Scythus, hmm. He's actually pretty darn tough to work with. <laughs> I, I don't like fighting him because it's like a brick wall and doing attacks on him is pretty hard. And his special attack when he is fully evolved is actually really strong. It can be kind of hard to deal with. Hello, little one! All right, we go first. So the tail smack. Oh yes, use up your blocks. Use them up now, because Try is waiting in the background. These two are are literally just bait fish. As cruel as it sounds, they're literally bait fish. All right, working our way down. Boom, down you go, little leads guy. Good to note that you are weak against charges. Oh, that's so cool. It makes a little dolphin sound. He's brand new. I can't wait to evolve this guy and see what he looks like. I, have, I haven't really seen too many of them out on the field. In the fighting tournament ring! So I don't know off the top of my head what they look like when they're fully evolved. That's right. To use up thy specials. And there we go. Good job. All right, now tries out. Now it gets serious. Oh, I love the deep growl that Try does. I don't know if you guys can hear it. <laughs> oh boy, here we go. Here we go. And now it's the giant salamander. Look at him go. He's so freaking cute. Here he comes! There. But yeah, once we win this battle, what I'll do is I will keep an eye on when the next set of aquatic and other battles. I'll go through the Jurassic on my own. I don't win Jurassic very often. Because um, again, I, I have a theory that the higher level the, the creatures you have in your lineup, the more difficult the battles are, which is as it should be if you're waiting it properly. So you give newbies a chance to like tear themselves in. But yeah, I will go through and I will use Bucks to recharge Tri and Derma and Basil and throw them back out into aquatic tournaments pretty often. Because we want all the DNA! I want to get those Bachites or whatever they're called. Alright, Tri, I don't even need to make you block. I don't even need to make you use specials. It's just sitting here. Nibbling on a, on a giant salamander, who I think is a little bit ragey at the moment. There we go. All right, try. There we go. And nibble. Dun dun dun. And now we've got the bucks. We'll have to see how many bucks every time we check in with each other. We'll see how many bucks we've gone up or if we've gone completely down just from trying to earn it. There we go. 
All right, now we're back in platinum. And we can open all of these to celebrate our victory and get a little bit of DNA. There we go. There we go. Wonderful. And we need 14 more wins in the next three days, so I'm gonna do my best to try to pull that off. Oh man, and we can actually enter the next tournament already. Uh, I might use up the box that we would win, but I think it'd be worth it. But I'll do that on my own time, and I will see you guys back here next time, and we'll have to see how close we are to being able to get the Bacolites, and being able to uh, just make our awesome park even more awesome. So I'll see you guys then. Bye-bye.